And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Bannerman Zed. It's been a while since I've played Bannerman Zed, to be honest. This is an, a Demacia aggro deck, and it's just been kind of a while since I've played a real Demacia focused deck, and so I wanted to do that. Um, but you know, we have our quick attack creatures, we have Lucian, Senna, Zed. Um, this deck can hit pretty hard. I am kind of changing it a little bit um from the previous times we've been playing it tracker wasn't always our only one drop we were playing three of uh three of the one mana cythria also but that's a card that um i know it's just not a good card like it's okay on turn one to play it you know it's you know perfectly fine but then drawing it like later on in the game it's just not very good it's not very impactful and so instead i'm going to actually take that out and go on the other end of the spectrum and adding in two cythria the bold and also a Prismatic Barrier, so um, really kind of switching it up from there. But I think these can be some higher impact cards, which is what our deck, uh, I think, could need. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to have some other fun decks, uh, especially Catastrophe after this. Really looking forward to that one. But wanted to play, wanted to you know, give some love to Demacia again. It's been a while since we played them. So here we go. Let's go on to play five games over in Ranked. Where are we at? We're at Garen's Might. It's a good place for a Demacia deck. 2507. Let's, let's get started. Here we go. I never keep Relentless Pursuit in the opener. And we won't keep the six drop in our opener either. Um, Relentless Pursuit is, is great. If if you're ahead, it's great. If you are even even if you're even, like that extra attack can be great. But if you're behind, it's worthless. And keeping a hand that when it's worthless when you're behind, keeping that in your opener, does kind of make it give it like a big a better chance that you draw it. Um, this is kind of tough. Whether or not to play this Bright Seal Protector. I'm going to not play it. And by not playing it, now I have... I have single combat to, to protect Zed. I know that's not really a, a great protection spell, but um, if there's like a blocker plus a trick or something like that. And then also we'll have the protector uh, for later on to maybe protect Zed or one of our challengers after this. Okay, well, they're down to 10. So they'll have a leveled up Callista. I don't really need to... Like, they have a leveled up Callista, but all Callista does whenever she's leveled up right now is just put a 1-1 one, one into play. I don't really need to um, trade my Zed and my single combat for Callista. I, I don't think that's a good trade. Oh, wow, they missed? Get rid of that thing. So now Callista takes the damage. All their stuff dies. I 
think this is going to be game, but we'll see. GG. Zed is brutal. Zed is brutal. Well, that's a fast game. That's a fast game right there. Alright, Anivia Trindamir. It's War Mother's Call. Haven't been super impressed with War Mother's Call decks recently. Um, Deny can... That can do some stuff. We, we just have the one Deny. Um, keeping it in our opener also is better for Bannerman. You know, we have the three Zeds, one Deny. Those are our four um, Ionia cards. <clears throat> so yeah, it's good good for Bannerman. No one drop. That's a good draw. Let's go, Lucian. So if they had Avalanche, I have the Radiant Strike protection for one of them. But yeah, I thought that was the most likely play. And now we can just kind of have Deny available to protect. Um... So how are... What if I attack like this? What, they want to block and kill my Lucian and then this thing turns into double strike and they're dead? single combat here, have this turn into double strike, that's eleven. Could even I could even pump it. So that's ten, that's thirteen. I can go with for the back to back to kill them, but then they could use a spell and I don't have deny available. I think I want to keep deny available. And I'm gonna let this happen. We'll see, they could be playing too cautiously. I'm not too scared of that thing. Alright, well, I don't really have to worry about holding up Deny right now.
Um... Do I want Senna to die? Is the main question. Would it arguably be better to have Lucian die? No, it'd be better to have Senna die. All right, here we go. Um, attack, 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 attack. Pull this over here, this over here. I wish I had 10 mana. I wish I could do both of those. Can't have deny, but they only have three mana. I don't know exactly what they're gonna play for three mana. Nothing. Surrender. All right, we're already two and zero. Oh. Starting off the the stream well. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that was a that was a good game there. What's up, Eric? Thanks for joining in. Sam looks just fine. It d we don't really have a two drop, but we can save the single combat. Yeah, I did see Lee Sin. Lee Sin looks really good. Well, yeah. I mean, six mana champions. I mean, there's like some great ones, like like Lux and everything like that. But basically, Lee Sin is just going to always be leveled up. It's so easy to level up. All you have to do is cast seven spells. easier to level up than Ezreal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks for catching it now, Eric. Um, I think this is a good trade for us because otherwise the Fleet Feather Tracker can kill my Zed, can kill my Senna, could kill other stuff. Um, and if they don't want to trade, I'll take the two damage. I really hope they don't have Bright Steel Protector here. That would be annoying. All right, so we're trading two for two. We're trading Fleet Feather Trackers and Single Combats. That's not too bad. But I am going to be, without having that single combat anymore, we are going to be weak to barriers that they could have in the future. Yeah, so, um, 
So Ionia is not getting more elusives, right? So we saw that. So no, no, like elusives. Um. But yeah, then there's Dragon Rage, the enemies that they that he challenges. It's a base Dragon Rage is basically double attack, but you know you, you get to attack um, the ally and attack them. Is my best play Bannerman this turn and then Senna plus Warchefs next turn? I mean, that's that's my best mana-wise, but that's, you know, that's playing all the stuff, like, after Bannerman. That means Bannerman's not really doing a whole lot. Uh, let's see, 4, 9, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What if we just... What if I just Warchefs this turn? And then next turn we have Bannerman plus Pursuit? Uh, that's really tempting to play the, the Lancer too, but let's go Bannerman. Soon these are gonna get a bunch of barriers. Oh wow, no barrier. I was gonna play the pursuit during combat, but I didn't want to play the pursuit in combat and then they change their mind and get a bunch of barriers. No. No. Game that would have been won if it wasn't for that deny. I guess challenging the, the Lux makes more sense, but it doesn't really matter. It's just lethal. I mean, and I guess unless they have unless they have single combat, it's the only card that can save them, which it looks like they do. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Well, we could be in trouble now. They've had the two cards they needed. They needed Deny, so the only card that saved him before, and then Single Combat there, the only card that could save him then. So we'll see. We'll see what they got with the Lux. Oh, no, like... Um... I guess Repose? So their, their plan is Repose. No, Karma Ez would not play Lee Sin at all. No, like that's, it's you know it's a, yeah it doesn't go in Karma Ez at all. Um, but I think I think Lee Sin will be good. It's it's going to be, you know, because you're not going to cut Karma or Ezreal. You can only play, you know, you're not going to cut it either of those. Like you'd have you'd have a different deck. Lee Sin's going to be leveled up, pretty like fairly easily. And 
you know, you'd, you'd build around Lee Sin. Um, I think Lee Sin's pretty comparable to Lux. If you think about, like, how, how Lux is played right now in the metagame and, like, how... Like, Lux is a really strong card, but it doesn't see, like, that much play. Because it is a six-mana champion, even though it is really strong. And it, it is a six-mana champion that the kind of the you have to build around with a bunch of spells and i can i kind of see lee sin being very similar but probably less powerful than lux or about the same you know like real close but maybe lux a little bit of an edge but um being in Ionia is a lot easier for that kind of champion than being in Demacia, like how Lux is in Demacia. Lux would be better if Lux, if she was in Ionia. This is probably our... Like, this is going to be a really tough matchup for us, Karina Control. Karina Control is very good against Demacia. This has been kind of the down... Like, one of the downfalls of Demacia in the last couple of weeks is the rise of Karina Control. Gonna try. I think we probably protege on three. Let's see what they do. If they do nothing, I'm gonna protege. It's too easy to kill Senna. This is not a good matchup for us. But the good news is we do have good matchups against a lot of other decks. You know, we're 3-0 right now. Um, but yeah, Karina Control is just... This is a tough one. So, Bile Feast, get a spider, and then, you know, the Skitter, Brood Awakening, Skitter. You're excited for the Piltover Champion? V. Or is it or no Vi? Vi? Yeah, Vi. I always just want to call the Piltover Champion Six. This one just looks like Roman numerals. I just see six. Like that's all I see. <laughs>
haven't leveled up Lucian. And I will be able to play Bannerman and have Prismatic Barrier to protect Lucian. I guess I can have Bright Steel Protector. Let's see, if I go Bright Steel Protector and then Bannerman, I don't have anything else. Um, I think we just go. We just do this. So I wanted to block with one protege so that I have one protege die um, during my first attack so that we trigger Lucian and Rally. trade here. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I should have just taken I should have just taken the skitter instead of this 2 one. Like I want I want this to die. I should have just taken the skitter. That was dumb. I was just focused there and yeah. They certainly have tricks up their sleeve, how they just passed back to me and let me go straight to combat. Um, I'm just chilling with this man over here. Just got the two mana. There's not a two mana deal three. As far as Lucian is concerned. Looking good right now. Lucian's pretty strong. Ugh, if we can get one of our allies to die. Straight to combat. So I don't I don't need my protege to attack because it's just gonna trade. I can untap and then attack and have the protege trade. And then we get another attack again. They need vengeance. Uh, vengeance doesn't really save them. They need a lot of help. I do like... 
Oh, I, sh I should ha I should have this attack. I should guess I should do that before Lucian. I do like having Lucian before Senna, so, you know, they have to kill Lucian to stay alive, and then Senna gets the double attack. But I guess I should have this first. But I definitely want the Lucian first before the Senna. It doesn't really... This doesn't really matter. This should just be it. I know, right? Lucian does have the saddest level up condition. Yeah. It really is. This guy goes, every, everything else is like, cast six mana or stun five units, and Lucian is like, murder his wife. Yeah, <laughs> yep. I I played I pulled the wrong spider that that one time. Besides that, played the rest pretty well. Thank, <laughs> thanks, Dax. <laughs> yep. The yeah, I should have taken the frenzied skitter that one turn, but oh well. Bannerman Zed, looking good. With the help of Lucian, we even beat Karina Control. So even though it's a bad matchup, I mean, you still have some powerful champions. Lucian and Zed are both really, really strong. And we're going for that elusive 5-0. Can we finish it off? Is today Friday? No, it's only Thursday. I was thinking of maybe it was 5-0 Friday, but... It's just Thursday. I'm going to keep this. What are we playing against? Cat Jinx Teemo. This is a hand that I wish I was attacking on turn two, not attacking on turn one. Because we want to play Tracker on one, and then on turn two, Protector it, and then attack. I guess I still have the ability to... I can just play Lucian on their turn two, and then my turn two, Protector the Tracker, and then attack. Won't get past me. Did you just say that we won't get past you? We... Literally everything gets past you. You can't block. Is that what the rear guard says? Like, you won't get past me? Okay, ready. Um. Time to go. This could probably backfire. Taking all that damage. My shield is yours. I'm glad I'm glad we didn't block though. We would have would have had Lucian block the one four, Lucian would have been a, a three one. I would have died here. No, no, don't have a blade's edge. Who plays that? That is so rude. Blade's Edge. Well, that's not good. That's good. Take six. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to sacrifice the Bright Seal Protector to save four life. Be at 12 instead of 18. Maybe we Lancer.
So that's like an, an awkward situation where I want to cast the Relentless Pursuit during combat so that they can only play one thing and then I get to attack again. But the problem is if I do cast the Relentless Pursuit do, during combat and then they use like a Get Excited on my Zed, you know, kill it where I don't get to protect it from the Radiant Strike, then... Um, oh gosh, that's annoying. Then I just wasted my Relentless Pursuit and basically wasted my turn, so then I don't get to, like, Swift Wing Lancer afterwards. That's a great draw with that Deny. me down to one and then what do I do so then they have they have the two blockers left I pull the Legion Grenadier over to the side I can't deny that trigger so I guess I have to deny this undermine oh this is a problem oh, this is a problem No, 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 no! I need to move this! I need to move this! Ah! Uh. No! I, I was thinking I was going to have the Radiant Strike, but because I cast the Deny, I didn't. You know, I was running out of time. Ugh. Too bad. Man. If I just had one more second, I would have pulled that over to the side. So, in, indecisive miss can cost you. Um. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't win anymore. Well, GG's to the burn deck. Um, burn decks don't win very many games these days, and so you know, I kind of feel like I don't, I don't feel bad losing to a, per, a player playing a burn deck because uh, those, um, yeah, those decks are really struggling these days. It's it's a tough meta game playing those. So GG's. Um, but yeah, this this deck just felt you know felt good like. This is a deck that I've always liked. This is a deck that I've always said is a, a good rank up deck. Um, you know, Zed and Lucian are both really good. There, that's just the Relentless Pursuit just kind of cost. You know, that that whole play and everything that I did there that that turn cost me that game. I just don't even worry about Relentless Pursuit in my hand. I I don't think I should have cast the Relentless Pursuit when I did, but oh well. Um, yeah. Oh, well. Um, yeah. Pretty sweet deck. All right. So couldn't quite get that 5-0. Sorry about that. Um, but still 4-1.
Real good record there for Bannerman Zed. Kick off the day today. All right, for those of y'all watching on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a, a wonderful day also over there. And I will see you for the next video. Take care.